Hi guys and welcome back to another video. You join us on a very wet and miserable Sunday morning at Tibbenham Airfield. We are at Terminal Velocity 11, which is a half mile rolling race. Um, as you can see from the conditions, it's probably not gonna be that successful of a day, but we'll give it a try. Uh, the M5 is currently running on its pump fuel map, which is just over a thousand horsepower. Uh, we've changed the tyres over for our AAA R's, which in these conditions probably not going to help too much. Uh, we've also got our RS3 over there, uh, which was just finished on Thursday. So this is a bit of a shakedown for that car uh, before VMAX, which is in seven days from today. Um, I've got the race box set up, so I'm not going to have any draggy issues today. I, I do have it with me. I'll, I'll try and get some runs, but you're not going to be setting any records in this weather. But I've been using this unit for the last couple of weeks and it's uh, pretty reliable. Everything's in one unit. It has got an app and it also shows you the slope on the unit itself. So you don't have to download it and check what the slope is. So it just works all the time. So um, you join me again once I'm actually lined up. I've done a sighting lap. It does seem to have a bit of a grip, but we'll see how we get on. We're just lining up for our first run. It's nice and damp on the track. See how we get on for traction. Here we go. Rocky's car next to us. Dab the brakes as well. <laughs> Fuck you know. Sorry, sorry, mum. So 100 is 5.37, so you can see that's a lot slower than we normally get. But that was sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got a lot more time to slow down, so I don't need to come on the no, brakes no, basically. No. Yeah. So just do it progressively. Yeah. I guess. Now you can just let go basically. Yeah, let it coast. You've got enough space. It's because of the. Um, that is slippery. The little dips and yeah. undulations and stuff. You had to make a correction because we were quite central. Yeah. But that's where you started yeah. off. So I guess, you know, when you line up on the left lane, go further. Further left, yeah. Bro, are you good? Bro. It's sketchy. <laughs> bro, I don't know how you kept your foot planted. Literally, my traction control is just going, oh, fucking hell, hello, bro. <laughs> uh, my traction control is just kicking off like mad. I mean, 60 to 130 was a 5.44, which is what, like probably just under just under five? Yeah. Uh, 100, 200, yeah. 200. But I literally, you know, as soon as I hit like probably about 140, yeah, let go. it's just, I saw you. Did you like, see my car? I just, I just see water everywhere. Yeah, right, yeah. That fucking scared me. I was like, you know what? It's it ain't worth it. it. And like, it's one of those. But uh, saying that, it was map one. So we're just gonna, you know. Yeah, you can't run full power on here. Nah. I'm not even gonna bother uh, switching to race fuel. I'm just gonna run pump today. It's no it's point. pump at the moment? Yeah. Huh? Oh. Main fucking went sideways. No, yeah, so did I. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, main went sideways. <laughs> 140 it went. Yeah. Same thing happened to me. Did you go sideways? Yeah, after yeah, the trap speed, yeah. Know, oh, you know, the thing no. is, like, I literally, you know, I don't lift. I like literally there. I've seen him. I didn't lift, I was going sideways towards the <laughs> <a> feet. <laughs> I lifted early, I was like, you know what? But, <laughs> saying that, I'm still hungover. Wow. But no, I'm going to keep it back we'll for a bit. One little I would suggest pass. just try manual. Because the thing is, I didn't know how good my brakes were going to be. Yeah, you don't. It would be fine, yeah. Pull you, back you know what? Yeah, that's what happens. At the end, there's shitloads of water. Water, water, yeah, it's bad.
for our second run. A bit of an incident, so I'll have to try and be a bit more careful when I'm braking. We're up against a really powerful R35, but I don't think anyone's trying to go full pelt on this. I'm not even sure if I'm going to switch to the race fuel map because I'm not sure if the extra power is actually going to help me or hinder me. We've got a little bit of pump fuel left in there now. So we'll see how we get on. I think the problem is there's the standing bits of puddles throughout the track so if you catch one of those on these tyres it's not very good. Okay so I think we're just lining up now, here we go. was a bit quicker but it didn't feel that fast at the end so I don't know Let's have a look. 273 again so I think it's roughly the same if I'm looking at the right thing we'll have a look and go around yeah quicker 100 to 200 that time 5.13 so should be a faster run but the top speed's not that much different So that 100 to 200 is in the wet on our triple R's is pretty impressive considering I'm not actually doing a dedicated 100 to 200 run. So hopefully the track dries out a little bit. We'll see how we get on. So we've just broken for lunch. We've managed to do two runs. I think the fastest time on their traps is about 168. Racebox will show me about 169. On the last run I did on pump fuel, uh, 100 to 200 kph time was quicker than the first run, so 5.1 but for some reason top speed was less so we used all the pump fuel up and I said I wasn't going to but we've put the race fuel in and we've switched the map um, it's drying up a little bit so hopefully we can get a bit of traction and get over 170 but we have no marker for rolling half so we'll see what we can get I mean I think anything over 170 in these conditions is going to be pretty good so let's see what happens lunch break is over we're going for our first run with uh, race fuel and the race fuel map set up I'm lining up against my mate Ozzy over there in this stage one Evolve M2 competition. He said he wanted to line up against us because he doesn't trust anyone else coming across the line. We had an incident with a Lambo that just went across the runway, so Let's see how we get on. <clears throat> so I'm in MDM Sport MD with the fastest shift, so I'm not gonna launch it, I'll feather the throttle and then go as soon as they give us the go-ahead but yeah I mean it's very busy and, and a bit slow so it's only our third run by one o'clock or actually two o'clock wow you'd expect a bit more track time it is what it is so I've got the race box set up ready see how we go switch this on not that it's a fair race but <clears throat> They feel quicker, so we'll see when we go back round. That's what happens when you have to wait too long the line.
so they're running one lane at the moment so it's what a fourth run i've got an extra ballast in the car trying to give me some extra grip <laughs> might recognize him it's from that living life slow channel <laughs> So hopefully I can get another run in after this. Let's see what happens. Jeez. We've done uh, 100 to 200, 5.1 wow. and 0 to 200 in 9 seconds. Jeez. That's not bad. That's, That's a plus slope as well. So it's quite good to give you the slope at the bottom. Yeah, you can feel that slipping, isn't it? Yeah, so did you hear, hear the thing? Yeah, yeah, it's just Okay, so we are just about to do our last run of the day. I've done 172, which is the fastest we've managed. And surprisingly, the RS3 is already matching this car, so it shows how potent that's gonna be. Still got 0.2 bar boost left as well. Um, so I'm gonna try traction fully off now, because it's a bit drier. I'm probably gonna just try and plant it off the line, see if I can get quarter mile time. I've got Draggy on, on an iPhone this time, so hopefully it doesn't crash, and I've got my um, race box on as well. So we've got nothing to compare against today apart from Ricky's car and ours is running race fuel now so it's going to be a bit faster anyway. So I think we're just going to do one more run and then head back because it's about two hours to get home. So I'll get home at a reasonable time. So I've been here all day and I only managed to do like five runs so well this is my fifth one. It's a bit slow. That GTR had some kind of issue at the top so they're dragging it back. Okay, am I gonna go now? Yeah. Not to 
200 time and dipped into the 4.89 100 to 200 so that is not shabby at all it's definitely going to be the best of the day let's have a look if it's done the top speed go back go to the history Yeah, so 282, so 282 kilometers an hour as well. So improved by four kilometers an hour. So it's pretty decent. Oh, I think they're waiting for us to come back around again. 60. So yeah, quarter miles, 10.46. The surface is not the great, 4.91. So yeah, I need to get out on a prep surface and do some quarter miles because this is definitely, I was doing 10.2s before, but this is slightly uphill and not prepped tires a bit cold standing mile uh, that's not going to count a standing half mile 16.29 which is not too shabby at all cool so yeah i'm pretty happy with that i do need to get to santa pod on a prep surface and see how far into the nines we can get because it's definitely a nine second car but yeah i think that's in that's it for today we're gonna wrap it up there um we've got vmax in seven days so the car's pretty much set up for that now so we can concentrate a little bit on getting the RS3 ready um, if you watched the VMAX video last time you would have seen that we had clutch slip on the M3 so if the clutches come in this week we can get those fitted and get that ready but yeah it's been a pretty decent day considering the conditions uh, just done my best run on that last try um, it's been good catching up with everyone to be fair but yeah that's it for today and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you'd like to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you'd like to watch what YouTube suggests you might like from our other videos, you can watch that over here. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you guys have any questions, please drop them in the comment section and we'll do our best to answer them for you.